Welcome back to ETV, entertainment television everywhere in the Treasure Valley. This week we're going green and to tell us a little bit more about sustainability here in the community, we've got Dave from the Sustainable Community Connection and also Matt from the Red Feather Lounge. Guys, thanks for joining us today. Thank you, Brian. Now, first off, Dave, tell us a little bit more about Sustainable Community Connections. Well, we're a nonprofit organization that promotes local and sustainable action. We do that through programs like Think Boise First and through events that we, we host. That sounds great. Now, when we're talking about sustainability and keeping it local, give me some examples of what the program actually entails. Well, our program, we look at eight different sectors of sustainability. I won't list them all here, but they include things like local art and culture, local business, local food. Um, when What we do is we try to do programming and events that, that touch across all those different sectors of sustainability. And like for example, we have done a member lunch at the Red Feather before for Think Boise First members. Right. And when we did that, we invited the Boise Bicycle Project, the Boise Urban Garden School. So we touched on local food because Red Feather serves local food and the right. Boise Urban Garden School is there. We touched on mobility uh, because of the Bicycle Project. And then we support our business by the Think Boise First event being hosted there. And the key is keep all the efforts and all the money local so that it just continues to turn and it doesn't go out of state or something else. Like Absolutely. We really try to promote mindfulness of taking local action. Awesome. Now, Matt, how do you tie into this whole picture here with sustainability? So Red Feather Lounge has been involved with sustainable community connections for, for a while now. Uh, we're, we're one of the sustaining members of uh, Think Boise First, and uh, we're, we're helping them put on, a, put on an event at our, um, at our restaurant on August 21st from 5 to 8. We're calling it uh, 20 Courses for $20. Mm -hmm. um, it's to, to support the 20 by 20 campaign, which Dave can, can, can dwell on. Yeah, so briefly a little bit of overview on the 20 by 20 campaign. Well, if you look at our website, um, you'll see eight different things that you can do to take local and sustainable action. They tie in with each of our sectors. So like, like if you're going to go to a concert, mm -hmm. maybe pick a concert that's from a, a Boise or a local band. Mm -hmm. um, if you're going to shop for something in a business, pick a business that's owned independently and locally. And, and so all of those things are listed on our website that you can do. Those things are really sort of the, the main goal of our organization is to promote action in those areas. So our 20 by 20 program is the idea of trying to do those things 20% of the time by the year 2020. Got it. Okay, cool. Now, as far as somebody that wants to go to the 2020, 20 by 20 deal over on August 21st, um, what's the best way for them to get involved with that? Do they need to pre-register? Can they just show up? It you go to our website, mm -hmm. uh, secidaho.org, and look at events, okay. um, you'll see that listed as an event, the 20 courses for $20. Okay. You can register online. Uh, there's also lots of contact information, so you can contact me and I can get you registered. That sounds great. Matt, appreciate it, and also Dave. Thank, thank you. Much. Good luck with all the sustainability stuff there.